Hi, Pastor Anthony Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And today I want to look at the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, where Jesus and his disciples are getting picked on a little bit, specifically the disciples. Uh, they're getting picked on by the Pharisees and the legal experts because they haven't been washing their hands. And Jesus points out to the Pharisees and the legal experts that they've misunderstood the law. They misunderstood the purpose of the law. He points out, for example, that uh, the law says, honor your father and mother, but the Pharisees and legal experts are, are given a way out of this, or loophole, if you will, because they say, if you give everything to the, the church that you were going to give to support your father and your mother, you no longer have to support them. That's kind of a weird, nasty loophole of a way of getting out of taking care of your parents. Jesus then says this, don't you understand? Don't you know that everything that goes into the mouth enters the stomach and goes out to the sewer? But what goes out of the mouth comes from the heart. And that's what contaminates a person in God's sight. Out of the heart come evil thoughts, murders, adultery, sexual sins, thefts, false testimony, insults. These contaminate a person in God's sight. What Jesus is trying to explain to the disciples and to us is a different understanding of kosher law. Kosher is a word that means clean, and it was ritual clean. And so the Pharisees and legal experts aren't saying that the disciples are sinning as much as they're saying that they're unclean. Jesus turns this around and says that to really be clean, to be able to worship God with a pure heart, a clean heart, to, to come in, in, in to God's presence, one doesn't have to necessarily ritually wash, but instead we need to watch the way we act, the way we, we treat each other. Each of the things he mentions here, whether it's murder, evil thoughts, sexual sins, thefts, false testimony, or insults, they all have to do with how we interact with each other in community. In the Old Testament, in the very, very beginning of, of the community of the Hebrews and, and, and Israel, whenever God gave us the Ten Commandments and the Code of Ethics that follows that, the Code of the Covenant, what he was doing was trying to create community. If we treat each other better, if we treat each other the way that Christ taught us to treat, if we treat each other the way that Christ treated us with a love as God has loved us, we find that we're better together and we find that we're actually a cleaner group of people, especially in God's eyes. Think about how you use your mouth, how you talk about one another, how you deal with situations and relationships with each other. Make sure that you are ritually clean not by what you're doing to the outside of your body, but by what comes out of your lips today.